I'm about to spend $54 to have breakfast with Mickey Mouse. Is it worth it? Let's find out. Today I'm here at Disney's Contemporary Resort to have breakfast at Chef Mickey's. I've actually never eaten breakfast here, I've only had dinner here. Now this place is an institution here at Disney World. If you've been to Disney World as a child, there's a very high chance that you've eaten at Chef Mickey's before. And that nostalgia is really what keeps me coming back. But there's been one main change since those old family vacations, and that of course is the price. It just keeps going up and up and up and up. After the meal, my brother and I are gonna rank our experience based off the food, the character interactions, and the location to give our honest opinions as to whether we think Chef Mickey's is worth checking out. So let's head inside and get this meal started. We are settled at our table and our waitress immediately brought us over some pog juice. Now that's the sign to any good breakfast here at Disney World. If your restaurant has pog juice, passion orange guava juice, you are in for a treat. And as soon as we sat down, it was brought over. So I'm very excited for that. But now let's head up to the buffet. And what I like to do with these buffet videos is kind of show you everything on the buffet. And then I'll make my plate and show you guys what I got. All right, let's do this thing. So we're starting on the side here and they have like a little charcuterie, if you will, some cheese, meat, crackers. They do have some smoked salmon and then accoutrements for that. They also have some guac, either that's guacamole or avocado, but it looks really good. I might have to grab some of that. They also have some fresh fruit here and then some stuff to make like a parfait. And now we have made our way onto the kitty stuff where they have tater tots, scrambled eggs, and chicken sausage. And they also have this little ketchup contraption. You, you usually don't see ketchup on the buffets and I like ketchup with my buffet eggs, so I appreciate that. But now we're gonna get onto the good stuff. I see some things that I really like over here. We have some warm buttermilk biscuits with sausage gravy here. And then we also have cheesy potatoes. Oh my God, those look so cheesy and good. And then there's rice, interesting choice. Continuing along, we have some breakfast roasted potatoes, some cheese sauce. That's definitely very interesting too. And then I think right here we have some flour tortillas and pico de gallo to maybe like build your own breakfast burrito, breakfast taco situation because we have a scramble here. Steak, egg and cheese scramble, an egg white scramble. And then we have some pre-made omelets, some veggie omelets and some ham and cheese omelets here too. And now it is time for the sweets. We have some warm syrup. Oh, they're making the omelets right back there. We have some bananas foster French toast. Okay, that sounds really good. Here we are making up some of the pancakes right here. And you would think we might be done with that, but no, we are still going. There's so much food on this buffet, guys. All right, so here are our sweets. They have celebration pancakes, seasonal pancakes, and then even more sweets. We have strawberry and blueberry sauce. I love putting that on like my waffles and my pancakes, so that's perfect. We also have some beignets, which is one of the main reasons I wanted to come here today. It's empty, but they still are gonna be really good. And then of course, what would a buffet be at Disney World without Mickey waffles? We have some plant-based things for the vegans out there as well. There's a tofu scramble and a plant-based hash here. Before we get to all of the breakfast meats, there's a corned beef hash, andouille peppers and onions. There's some honey glazed ham, some pork sausage, and some smoked bacon. It would not be breakfast without some dessert pastries. So we have some turnovers here, danishes, croissants, some mini muffins. It looks like they have blueberry in them. And then some warm, sticky cinnamon rolls. Wow, those look really good. Now that I've showed you guys everything that they have at the buffet, I'm gonna make my plate, of course, show you guys everything I got and let you know how it is. I just went up for my very first trip and I decided to go the healthy route by having uh, some fruit. Uh, and I did not realize they had better eggs than the regular like kids scramble until after I had already loaded up so many eggs and they had like eight different kinds of potatoes and the bacon was really good and I'm excited for this. I don't know. I, I, this is not my first, this is not my only plate. There's much better stuff than this. Kristen will find it. Trust me. Okay, so for my first plate, I kept it pretty basic as well. I just went with some of those cheesy potatoes, biscuits and gravy. I got a couple of the roasted potatoes and then some omelets and really funny story. I feel like the people at this buffet here are just like on their absolute worst behavior. Like so many times, specifically at Chef Mickey's, I've seen people grabbing things with their hands and just, you know, doing stuff at a buffet that is, I guess, like not proper buffet etiquette. People cutting in all over the place. And Ryan actually served some lady some breakfast potatoes. She just cut right in, in front of us, and then asked Ryan to scoop her some breakfast potatoes. It was quite the experience. 
but I am so hungry. So I'm gonna eat some of this biscuits and gravy. It is hitting the spot right now because of how hungry I am, but this is pretty much the same biscuits and gravy that you get at any Disney World buffet. And what I'm really looking forward to are these cheesy potatoes. Those are so good. I'm gonna get some with the crispy bit in there. Disney cheesy like hash browns are always so good. They have very similar ones over at Crystal Palace that I love. I'm gonna add some actually, I'm gonna pull a Mr. Claus, add some pep to my hash browns and my eggs. My little omelet that I got. There we go. I could just have a whole plate of those cheesy potatoes, honestly. Two thumbs up, roasted potato. Standard. Ham and cheese omelet. Now I like when buffets have like where you can customize your omelets. Here they are making them fresh right behind the buffet. You can see them doing that. Um, but I wish you can like kind of add and customize to add whatever you want in there. But it's good, it's a ham and cheese omelet. I just realized that I totally forgot to get any breakfast meat. I didn't get any ham, sausage, or bacon. It was on the other side of the buffet and I didn't make it down there because it was so busy up there. Um, and now I'm like, wow, how did I have any bacon? So we need to go up and get a second plate. But before we do, I think I see some characters coming around the corner. Hello, and just like that, Donald's here. A firm handshake. Does he have a firm handshake? That's the sign, yep, number one, the number, number one, one handshake. Number one yep, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Ready? Go like this. Okay, one of those will work. Thanks, Donald. Oh, thank you. Great to meet you. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, we, can, we can go for it. Thank you, Donald. I appreciate it. It's good to see you. How's uh, how's the kitchen been? Has it been busy? It's been very busy. I I I, I could tell. Everything's great so far. Mickey, nice to see ya. The big cheese himself. Hey, have you seen, are you in charge of selecting all of the cheeses that they have in the buffet here? Because they had some amazing options, I'll tell you that. And they had like a, like a, like a queso, like a melted cheese. There was, there was. Put it over everything, over waffles, over pancakes. I, I mean, cheese pumpkin, waffles. pumpkin waffles with cheese. Right? Yeah, that yeah. sounds so good. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to try that for you, Mickey. <laughs> This is definitely like, I'd say one of the downsides to Chef Mickey's is that they're all here. So like, I don't want to get up and go to the buffet and eat, get more food because I don't know, I don't want to miss a photo with the characters. So. They do come around a second time. Sometimes. If you wait here long enough, but also if they've already been to your table and they've already met you. It'll be quick. It'll be, it'll be quick or they'll skip you completely. But if they for sure miss you and you let a character attendant know, then they'll most likely stop and do the whatever, you mm -hmm. know, so. But yeah, so now we're just waiting on the others. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll make a beeline and try and go to the buffet before they come. After all those characters, I made my way up for a second round at the buffet and our server has already dropped off our check to our table. That's such a dad move. My dad does that every <laughs> single time we go out to eat, whether it's at Disney or somewhere else. Sorry, our dad. Yep, he does that every time. <laughs> but I am not anywhere near done, guys. I'm only on my second plate, which I loaded up with some sweets. I don't like mixing savory with sweet when it comes to anything really, especially breakfast. So I got some sweets on this plate, let me show you. They were actually out of bacon when I went up there and I waited around a little in, to see if like they were gonna bring it out, but they never did. So I got some ham, some sausage, and then I got a Mickey waffle. I loaded it up with some strawberry and some blueberry sauce. I also got one of those seasonal pumpkin pancakes, which I feel like we're past the stage of a seasonal flavor being pumpkin. So I feel like they're probably just pumpkin all year round and they're not actually seasonal. And then I got one of the croissant beignets. It's dusted in like a cinnamon sugar. Um, I am pretty sure that these are the exact same, same beignets that they brought over to Magic Kingdom. For Tiana's beignets, they look the exact same, just not with powdered sugar, um, but I'm gonna taste them and let you guys know if they really are the same. Let's try the croissant beignet first. That is seriously 
so good. And it's definitely the same as the Tiana ones. And I now know, since that they've been out for a while, if you watched my new Magic Kingdom food video, I tried the new Tiana's beignets from Golden Oak Outpost in Magic Kingdom. Um, I've since found out that they're actually coming in like frozen in boxes. And they are in fact croissant beignets. That doesn't negate the fact that they still taste really, really good. Like I know they're frozen, I know they're not real beignets, but they still taste insanely delicious. And you could get like all you can eat croissant beignets right here at Chef Mickey's for breakfast. A Disney World buffet would not be complete without some Mickey waffles. And here they have some blueberry and strawberry sauce at the buffet. I really like that, so I got both on here. That's quite good. Here's are going first, of course. And yeah, these sauces are really good with it. I'm not a big like syrup person. If I get syrup on something, I just get like a little, a little tiny dot of syrup. So I prefer to have like a berry sauce with my sweets for breakfast and the strawberry sauce and blueberry sauce are very much appreciated here. And now for the seasonal pumpkin pancake. Flavor's good, a little dry. Over at Steakhouse 71, I believe right now they still have the gingerbread seasonal pancakes, so I was expecting them to maybe have the same up here. But no, they're pumpkin. They're tasty, but a little dry. I am getting really full, but I think I have it in me for one final plate here at Chef Mickey's. All right, well, I went to get up to the buffet, and Pluto's just walking me back to my table. Look, Ryan, I have a, I have a surprise visitor from you, for you. <laughs> Did Kristen just take you on a walk? A little, a little I, bit of a walk. I took the dogs out. Okay, okay. <laughs> What's good? We still have one more character left to meet here, and it's Minnie Mouse, and here Hello, she is. Minnie, hi. Minnie made it. Now, Minnie, I think they should call it Chef Minnie's. All right, my final trip, I think. I might go back up for another croissant beignet. They were really good. Um, I got I got some bacon since they didn't have it last time. I definitely loaded up on that and it looks really, really crispy. I also got more of the cheesy hash browns because they were so good. And then I made myself a little taco with that steak, cheesesteak scramble thing. Bacon. It like is crispy. It looks crispy, but it's not somehow. I gotta say this taco don't look too promising though. There was like no steak in the eggs by the time I got over there. So, not the best, but I do have something that's gonna be very, very good. The cheesy hash browns. Between these and the croissant beignets, best thing on the buffet. We are done with breakfast after that plate. We're gonna head out and we're gonna recap our experience here at Chef Mickey's. This is our honest review, except Ryan said he's gonna be dishonest. Okay, first, what should we talk about when it comes to Chef Mickey's? Before we give you our overall opinion, well, I guess we're about <laughs> the garbage dump. <laughs> they're, they're dumping all the garbage down there. What a, what a beautiful view we have. Wow. Let's talk about the price first. It costs $54 for adults to dine at Chef Mickey's and $34 for children to dine at Chef Mickey's. For breakfast. For it's breakfast. It's more expensive it, for dinner. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> we don't know the exact numbers for dinner. We'll have to look that up. Um, but it costs you $5 less to have breakfast at Topolino's Terrace, which I think is overall a way better meal. I know Ryan had a bad experience there, you, so he you, might not think that, but... You get more food here, though. You can you, easily choose to get more food. You definitely can get a lot more food here, um, but $54 for that, the quality of food that was at that buffet, I don't know, that's a ton, a ton of money. Um, $54 is a lot of money, so we're definitely taking that into a big... That's going to be, I think, like a big consideration of ours, whether when we decide, is it worth it? Um, next thing, the quality of the food. It's your standard Disney buffet. The only things that really stood out to me were the croissant beignets and the cheesy hash browns. What do you think about the food? Um, I had a really, really good warm, sticky cinnamon roll. 
which was delicious. I wish they had the like the ice cream fountain thing mm. open like they do during. They the closed it during dinner. Remember, they didn't have it last time we went for dinner either. I was here more recently for dinner and they had it open. Oh my god, we got scammed back then. Okay, yes. whatever. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that was good. I don't know. Bacon was fine. It's very greasy food. Everything was super greasy. A lot of grease in the food for sure. And there wasn't anything like super unique really other than like the croissant beignets which are new and are the exact same as the ones that they have over at Tiana's. The food quality isn't quite there especially for $54. And now I think our final thing that we're like rounding this review out to is the character interactions. Um, I don't think they're that great here. Yeah so as as for character interactions here it's always great to be able to see the Fab Five. Only downside of this, is, which is something that I believe we mentioned previously, is that it's so lightning fast. The way they have this set up is each different area of this restaurant, it's like divided into four different sections. And once you see one character come into your section, you better sit your butt down because they're all coming like back to back to back. Organization's a little weird. They don't have character attendants right next to them, but they're like kind of tracking what's going on. One positive side is that they did have... Um, a character attendant come around and ask each table before and after, or at least us before and after, we met the characters, hey, were you able to meet everybody last time they were around? And first time, obviously, we said no because we hadn't met any of them yet. And then the second time, we said yes, just to make sure that you're able to meet each and every one of the characters and nobody's, like, missing their favorite character or something like that, which is a big positive. But again, really fast. It's trying to, it's like 30 seconds and then move on. So I... I wish I had a little bit more time. Another thing I want to consider while we're doing this like overall analysis is the location. And obviously the location of Chef Mickey's is fantastic. We are at the Contemporary Resort on the monorail, just a hop, skip, and a jump away from Magic Kingdom. So obviously this location is fantastic. Um, whether you're going to the parks afterwards or you're just going to have a resort day and like hop around the monorail resorts, it's a great place to start your day, that is for sure. The location is definitely a highlight of this meal. All right, the all-important question, Ryan, is Chef Mickey's breakfast worth it? Would you come here again? Yes. Honestly, I think any Disney breakfast, especially breakfast buffets, is 100% worth the cost because I love breakfast food so much and I could load up for the entire day and then just do little snacks here and there during the rest of my theme park day. So I think any Disney breakfast, especially character one, is worth going to Especially if you're on the Disney dining plan, because this is the only way you're going to get your money out of a Disney dining plan is by doing character meals. <laughs> All right. Now, Kristen, is Chef Mickey's worth going to? I have got to disagree with Ryan. I say no. I think there are far better character dining experiences that you can have here at Disney World for a little bit cheaper. Crystal Palace being one of them. Hollywood and Vine, Topolino's, all cheaper, I believe. And your character interactions, and I feel like the food are also better at all of them. Um, so for $54, I gotta say, I would probably skip Chef Mickey's. I, it, It's a classic, but I think the classic needs a little bit of a revamp for me to revisit it again. And while we are on the topic of character dining, just recently we had some very exciting news announced. 1900 Park Fair at the Grand Floridian is officially reopening. I believe it's the last restaurant to reopen since they closed from COVID. I'm very excited about it. Although there are some very strange changes, I must say. They changed the character lineup, which I'm fine with. You know I'm fine with a little change. It used to be like the stepsisters, Prince Charming, Cinderella, I believe Mary Poppins. I don't know if Mary Poppins was only there for breakfast or what, but but um, yeah, they used to have those characters and now they're going to have Prince Ali, Mirabelle, Tiana in her Tiana's Bayou Adventure outfit and Cinderella. Very odd mix of characters. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I would have loved if they just did like a full re revamp and done like just an Encanto themed restaurant or just a Princess and the Frog or just an Aladdin themed restaurant. But I feel like to have all those characters combined, it's like super weird and doesn't really like... I don't know how they fit together. I don't know. It's just a very weird combo. But even though it's a strange combo, I will, of course, be there on opening day as long as I can get a reservation. I'm hoping. Reservations open March 5th. You can start to make your reservations. And the restaurant officially opens April 10th. So expect to see me there. 
Um, we're going to be covering another character dining when it opens. Well, with all that being said, we are officially done at the Contemporary here today. We're going to head over to Magic Kingdom. Ryan has a couple of things to shoot, a couple of funny videos, so make sure to follow him for the love of vlogging on YouTube and for the love of theme parks on TikTok and Instagram. You guys aren't going to want to miss his video. We're going to head over there, and I am going to leave you guys here. I want to shout out some Patreon subscribers, Angela, Ashley, Barbara, the Cal Kane's family, Catherine, Lindsay, Missy, Shelby, Adam, and Jen, Anne, Brittany, Karis, Chelsea, Carol, Daniela, Marcel, Dante, Dustin, and Nancy, Emily, Ethan, John Paul, Christina, Leah, Tori, Lisa, the Martell family, Michael, Paul, Pickle, the Latham Thomas family, Tracy, Wayne, Jermaine, Eric, the Weaver family, and Janet and Gary. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, let me know in the comments your opinions on Chef Mickey's, whether you think it's worth it or not, or maybe, you know, maybe you think it's worth it just because you have a lot, a lot of nostalgia towards the restaurant. That is totally understandable. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.